In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to create a personal access token in Azure DevOps. This is a 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Code Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. After the video I made a couple of weeks ago in which I was showing you how to create a personal access token in GitHub, today I have for you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a path in Azure DevOps. But let's start the clock and get into it. As we've seen in the other video I've mentioned, personal access tokens or path are an alternative for authentication when using APIs or command line, or in general, when we need to integrate with third-party systems. But let's see how to create one in Azure DevOps. All right, here we are in Azure DevOps. And first thing you want to do to create a personal access token is going to the menu that activates using this small icon of the user with the gear. So let's click on it. And as you can see directly here, we have the personal access token menu item. Let's click on it. And this takes you to the personal access tokens page. It's important to remind you that since they are personal access token, they belong to the user, not to the organization in general. So each user should create theirs if they need to use any third party access, APIs or CLI. All right, that said, as you can see, the page lists out the personal access tokens I've already created. And for each, I know the status, the organization it belongs to and the expiration date. Let's create a new one. Let's click on new token over here. Let's give it a name. And as I mentioned before, the tokens are personal. So if your user belongs to more organizations, you can select the organization you want to create this token for. You can set an expiration. It can be 30, 60, 90 days, or you can have a custom defined one. Let's say I want to expire at the 31st of December, 2021. And you can define, and I would say you want to define the specific scope for this access token. You can always give the full access, but this for security reasons is not advisable because if someone can get your token, they will be able to do everything and anything they want on your DevOps organization. It's always recommended using the custom defined scopes and give the access token only the permissions it really needs. For example, you have to integrate with an application that just need to read your code and read and write work items. So I would select only those two scopes. So I make sure that no additional changes or accidental changes, not to mention unwanted ones, can be performed in my organization. Once I've done that, I just click create and my token is created. Now, don't worry, I will delete this before publishing this video. So don't bother marking it down. But one thing I want to mention is the warning that is below here. Make sure you copy the token just right after creation, because when you close this page or this tab, you will never be able to retrieve the value of the token again. Possibly just use it for your integration and then close this page, because if not, you will not be able to retrieve this value again. So let's click on close. And here we have our test token with the scopes we've selected. And we're done, let's stop the clock. Today, I've definitely stayed within the three minutes limit. As you've seen, creating a path in Azure DevOps is slightly faster than doing it in GitHub, but in general, the process is basically the same. Let me know in the comment section below if you have more questions about paths in Azure DevOps. You may also want to check out the video over here. It's a fun double interview between Azure DevOps and GitHub. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Corded Dave. <laughs>